pretty dang good there. So that's about a tenth, I think. Let's see. Let me see if I can zero this a little better. Hey, I think I could look in the camera, I guess, huh? All right, so let me see if I can tighten this up without moving anything. Let's drop the pin in there and we'll lock it. That way I can put a little gronk on it. Okay, that should be pretty good. Let's give it another spin just to see. All right. That'll work. Now we can do the uh, this diameter here, the uh, shank actually. So we got that part ground. Now we're going to do this little, uh, the little pecker piece here. Um, we're going to use the little wee blocks in this case to hold this, which is kind of a cool little tool. And what this is is a set of very, very tiny uh, insert V blocks, so you can hold very small stuff. Um, what's neat in this case is. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's a reduced section here and that's where we're going to sit on there. And so it kind of uh, bridges that little, uh, um, or well, the two larger diameters sit on the outside. So now we can, we can dial in on, that, on this and then grind that and then uh, we'll flip it around and do the other side. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put it on there instead of yapping about it, right? Put that in there. Something like that. So I need a little bit of room to get an indicator up in there. So uh, yeah, but I don't want the uh, this to touch the edge of the V block there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna put a little baby gronk on that, and then uh, <clears throat> this is 90 degrees, so it sits in a normal V block. Okay, um, kind of like that. All right. So it sits in a normal V block and you, you hold that in a normal V block. And you can hold some really, really tiny stuff. Look at that one. It's just, you can hold a wire in there basically, which is kind of, uh, kind of handy. All right, so let's go uh, drop that in the whirly gig and uh, give that a little spin job. All right, so we got that in there and you can see it's pretty far out. So uh, let's dial that in. First we'll lock that and we're going to loosen the loosen the v-block like that actually that's probably enough and then let's get it back and rotate all right so it's, it's high right now right. so you know i just kind of do a little eyeball centric there until uh it's looking pretty good kind of like that 
then I, you know, then I, it's in range of an indicator now. So what I'll, I'll, I'll get an indicator up in there, and we'll uh, we'll dial that sucker in. All right, so we get the, uh, the small indicator on it here, or the tense indicator. Let's see what we got here. Bumpy, bumpy in that or something. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's high on that side, so we need to come down on this side a little bit. Oops. Yeah. See, you gotta bump it around a little bit. Come on. I'm using a T handle there. Let me uh, switch over to a, an L wrench. It falls on the floor. Um, sometimes with an L wrench, you can you can get a little finer adjustment, you know. So here we go. Let's try that. That's actually pretty good. Two tenths. You know what? I'm gonna I'm not gonna try to get it any closer than that. It's kind of lumping around a little bit, so. Let's uh, lock it, all right, and then tighten up the Le V block. That's French for a V block. Oh, come on, get it in there. All right, that's tight. Let go. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, time to uh, do some grinding. All right, Let's see what we can do here. I think I got a good pickup. Oh yeah. myself out there.
That's about freaking perfect right now. It's a little oversized, and uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lap that diameter just for fun. Okay? Okay, well, here's where we are right now. Um, they're kind of holding themselves together because this one's slightly magnetic. Um, but we've got all the cylindrical parts ground, okay, and this tip diameter here. And then, let's see, I'll separate this. And uh, there's the end. I ground the end of that. I actually lapped that just a teeny bit just to see what it looked like. And then there's the. Uh, the grind on the end of that. So we're going to lap those carefully together now. And um, the other thing we're going to do is at the tip here, uh, I've left a couple of tents on there. We're going to we're going to lap that as well to uh, real precision diameter, uh, two hundred thousandths there. So okay. So uh, we got to make a little lap, and then we got to make a little plug and a couple other little things, and then we can kind of try this thing out, see how it works. Pretty cool.